Jordan was picking his words very carefully when he was talking about the referee's performance today. Um, will you do the same? Oh, you have to be careful what you say because of what's happened previously. But but I think Brendan's probably had a point of what he said before. I think um, you know we spoke to uh, the, the referees' assessors about last week and about the breakdown and about where they entered and where they lied uh, around the ball. And nothing changed today. They were entered from every direction. They laid around the ball and um, and they were allowed to do it. So they didn't come to play particularly. They kicked the ball a lot. They lied around the ball. They killed the game. 13 penalties to, to seven, 10 of those in their in their half. Every time we get in the 22, they kill the ball and it's just a penalty and there's nobody in the bin. Um, how are you meant to score tries? Now, you know, we're told zero tolerance for lying around the ball, zero tolerance for entering the gate, zero tolerance for being uh, offside. Well, today there was lots of tolerance for that and, um, you know, I'm not, uh, I don't want to blame the referee uh, for the result because we have to control that. But um, the lawmakers and the people that impose the laws and they come out with these mandates um, and, you know, I, week and week it's very different. And today, um, if you're allowed to cheat and just enter the breakdown and lie around the breakdown, let us know because I'll coach it. Um, we don't do that and they get quick ball because we roll away. Um, I don't know how you're meant to coach or deal with it, but um, you know that's not an excuse for the result. That they they came with a plan, um, we let them do it. Uh, the referee let them do it, uh, and they go away with two points. So, uh, but it's not over. There's plenty to play for, um, and uh, we we just crack on. Good luck, Richard. Thanks for coming Cheers, through. Cheers, boys. My pleasure.